Hello again all. You may recall from my previous video I mentioned that I've been invited to a ball and not just any old ball but a masked ball at that. You may also remember that I said that uh, I don't have a ball gown. Now I've got a number of options. I could buy one um, which I'm not overly keen on doing because in all likelihood I would never wear it again and it seems like uh, quite a large expense for something I will only wear once and in addition to that I'm such a peculiar shape that whatever I buy I will end up having to alter anyway. I could potentially hire one but again because of my shape um, it's unlikely that I'm going to get anything off the peg that will actually fit me. I suppose I could make one, it would be easy enough, but again it seems like a lot of expense and effort to make something that I will probably never wear again. So what I have decided to do is put an outfit together from a number of different pieces that I already own and a couple that I'm prepared to buy because I would actually wear them again in combination with other items to make different outfits. I'm going to start at the bottom with the underskirt. You will have seen this before. This is the raw silk skirt that you will have seen under the um, lace swag. Here I've put the swag skirt over a raw silk one. Hope you can see this. I actually like this better. So I've unpicked the waistband from this skirt. You can see where the rather large pleats used to be. You see that there? Yes. So it's given me lots of extra room to play with and I have removed the zip and sewn that seam up. From my cupboard of much fabric I've managed to find this piece of t-shirt type material. Just a nice thin cotton jersey which will be perfect to make the drop waist section. The trouble is that it's stretch is on the short side so rather than just literally folding the thing in half um, and putting some darts in I'm going to have to make it in a few panels which will be fine because I would going to have to dart it anyway you can see where it's where it's cut I've got one piece that's probably wide enough to go across my front and then I shall just put the back into sections and that will enable me to put some darts in so that to fit it round my waist a bit better anyway. So it's not so bad. This fabric will stretch to approximately 120% of its normal length. However, my hips are roughly 124% of my waist. So... I can't just make it fit round my waist and hope that the stretch will give me enough room to get the damn thing on. So I am going to have to turn it over at the top and add some elastic at the waistband just to make sure that I don't rip any seams or anything. So the drop is going to be six and a half, where are we? Six and a half inches. I then need to add um, seam allowance for where I attach this to the skirt and then give it at least another inch turnover at the top for um, elastic and then another inch seam allowance. So all of my pieces will have to be eight and a half inches deep. So I have my three pieces. This first one is the long one which will go across the front. Then I have two shorter pieces, which will be in the, across the back. And at each of these seams, I will be able to fit it to my um, shape a lot better. So I can remove this much from the waist and still get it comfortably down off of my hips. And it doesn't seem that much. Um, and I could technically just use the three seams that I've already got to lose that. However, I need to allow 
half inch seam allowance and then another two inches down which will be the um, the casing for the elastic uh, which will then mean I will probably end up with quite a sharp angle out to the hip line so I am actually going to add additional darts to lose this amount of fabric probably a couple in the front just to help with the shaping and the fit as well so I have to lose five inches off the waist so I'm adding two darts in the front taking an inch out with each dart as you can see marked up the um, half inch in and the two inches down and I will then take the dart in from there and make them as long and as skinny as possible so the adjustments have been made um, the seams have been trimmed down and at the bottom of the two inch straight piece where it will be folded it has been snipped on the seams and also just on the dart so that this will sit better once it's on they're not all the same they're not hugely neat but it doesn't matter as no one will ever see them so now i just have to attach the top of the skirt to the bottom of this drop waist section i've found the center of the front and the back of the skirt and of the drop waist and have pinned them together and the skirt is not that much bigger than the drop waist that it's being sewn into so I only need to do a little bit of a stretch I'm not actually going to pleat it in which is what I thought I would do I'm going to use a small um, zigzag stitch because I honestly can't be bothered doing a running stitch and then zigzagging it as well so it will be a very short stitch length probably about one and a half um, on a probably size three width stitch so the skirt is sewn onto this drop waist section otherwise known as a basque um, there's a certain amount of distortion of this stretch fabric which happens when you sew stretch fabric to non stretch fabric but it doesn't matter because no one will ever see that this is um, an underskirt and will only ever be worn as an underskirt so here is the cotton jersey basque part of the skirt the transition is still a little lumpy but as I've said no one is going to see it it just means that the skirt is now long enough to cover the hooped petticoat um, and being that this is a nice soft cotton jersey it will be more comfortable in this gosh awful heat. On top of that I'm going to wear that wonderful skirt that hubby bought me at Rambling Man two years ago. Actually shorter at the front, long at the back. Now obviously for this to be a proper ball gown I need a hooped petticoat and that is one of the two items that I have bought for this outfit. The petticoat itself only cost me £8 and it came from eBay. Um, it's not ideal. It's difficult to tell on camera obviously but it's made from that really kind of cheap lining fabric pretend satin it is very synthetic which means that it's probably going to be very sweaty and in addition to that the waistband if i can get the hoops out of the way the waistband is quite thick very heavily kind of ruched um, and again, I just think this is going to be quite uncomfortable. As I've already mentioned, we are in the middle of the longest, hottest and driest summer since 1976. So I think I'm going to have to do something with this nasty synthetic stuff um, in order to make it more comfortable. I will probably end up doing something similar to what I have done with the underskirt. Now this was a long skirt that I found in a charity shop. I say was because it isn't any longer because it wasn't quite long enough so I've chopped it down to make it um, one of my long top 
type dewies. And the fabric that was left over from the bottom of that dress I have used to adapt the hooped petticoat. As you can see from the transition, I've chopped the top of the hooped petticoat off and I have used the bottom of that dress to, um, to replace that whole section. It's light cotton jersey, so it should be much cooler. The waistband is just simple black tape that is slightly bigger than my waist and I've um, secured it with some Velcro. So that should be much cooler and much more comfortable. As I mentioned before, I have got one other new item. I was lucky enough to be given some Amazon vouchers for my birthday. So I jumped on there and had a search and came up with this lovely corset um, top and I'll put some better pictures from the Amazon website up now. It's jacquard. Can you see that beautiful patterning on the fabric? It has a, a zip at the side so it's easy on and easy off. It is fully boned, very comfortable. The back straps are elastic. I may change them out for some ribbon, although they're fine as they are. It is fully adjustable with a nice modesty panel and all of these laces. The only thing with it is that it's sized small, medium, large as opposed to sized to fit um, a bust. So these cups are actually a little bit big for me, although I am a 32C, because this is actually, you know, made for a generic size, the, the cups themselves are a little bit big. So I have just bought some um, bikini insert little things just to put inside to lift me up a bit. Um, because it's got this almost racer back, I wouldn't really be able to wear another bra underneath it um, just to improve my shape. Nor would I really want to because, you know, it's just going to be hot and uncomfortable. So, of course, as this is a masquerade ball, I will need a mask. And it just so happens that I've got one. Um, in the last show that the dance school did, the adult ballet group, did a, a very beautiful dance to As the World Falls Down from Labyrinth um, and so they all had masks. Unfortunately, almost at the last minute, one of them had to drop out so um, I took their place, requiring me to buy myself a mask. What do you think, guys? It is rather glorious, is it not? Um, this just came from my local party shop and I don't think it was that expensive, probably only, you know, about nine or ten pounds. My only concern with this, of course, is that once it's on, it's pretty much going to have to stay on because it will just suck the makeup off my face. And as you know, I am rather fond of false eyelashes when I'm going out um, and I'm not sure that false eyelashes are going to work with this. So I may have to have a couple of dummy runs before I go. The only uncertainty I have at the moment is what I'm gonna do with my hair. Now, we are going to be going away overnight for this ball. It is not anywhere close to where we live. We're not worrying about accommodation, we're not getting a hotel or a and b because we have accommodation on wheels. But unfortunately, we don't have solar power in our accommodation on wheels, so I don't have um, the ability to plug in straighteners or plug in curlers or anything like that. I have got gas-powered tongs and things, so I could potentially do ringlety things. I have a couple of nice kind of tie-in messy buns and things that I use at camp but I'm actually thinking of creating something that's a little bit more intricate so we'll see maybe I'll get that done before we go to the ball
Anyway, I think the next time you see me, I will be in full kit. So here's how the outfit goes together. Until I see you again, take care. Bye. <laughs>